Welcome to our tutorial about the select case statement. Let's get right into my forms code. When you've got a test against more than two conditions, your if statement can become really long. A good substitute for this potential awkwardness is the select case statement. Let's review the logic of our if statement. If a equals 1, then the label displays the result. a equals 1. Else, if a equals 2, then and so on. The select case statement makes this routine easier to understand. Let's comment this block out. We select the block and from the Edit Main menu choose Comment Block. By the way, if you right click next to the main menu and select Customize, go to the Commands tab, you can find the Comment Block and Uncomment Block commands. They're under the Edit category. You can drag and drop them onto the tool icon area. Back to our code. The select case statement begins here. Select case. It's followed by an expression. Next, we have a case statement to compare a value against an expression. At the end of the statement is the syntax end select. This closes our select case statement. If we didn't find much, we can use the case else statement. That's what I've done here. Okay, let's run our application to see how it works. If a equals 1, we have the result a equals 1. If a equals 2, we have the result a equals 2. If a equals 3, we have the result a equals 3. Let's enter the number 5. Now if a doesn't equal 1, 2, or 3, our result displays sorry, no match was found. And this concludes our tutorial on the select case statement.